This is the real key to uh, making sure that you run the swamp cave successfully. So you got to have a beer and you also have to have a big honking bottle opener to open the beer because that's very important. Welcome back, everybody, to Ark Survivalist. Said that I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to set up ourselves a training camp for our Baryonyx over by the Swamp Cave, uh, specifically at the uh, Redwood Lake here. Um, I was actually, if, if you guys have not been watching the series all along, I actually was considering at one point early on and making this our actual main base, but I decided not to just because space reasons mostly. Uh, but we're going to set up like a little outpost here. Um, we're going to take all of our Baryonyx that still need to be leveled up over there and uh, just use them to run the Swamp Cave. Um, and then that way, you know, when I go over there, I don't have to make the dangerous trip on foot, uh, you know, back and forth like I've been doing and possibly get sniped by uh, Thyla Kaleo. Uh, I can just uh, fast travel over there uh, to run those. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set up this uh, Quetz platform um, so I can transport the dinos over there. Uh, our Quetz doesn't have real high um, weight. I've been pumping stamina on it. So, and, and I, we need to continue pumping stamina on it because it runs out of stamina really quickly. It, it wasn't a very high level when we tamed it. I think it was, I don't know, 60 or something like that, maybe. Um, so I, I'm not sure, you know, how it's going to do weight-wise, but we'll just, we'll build the platform and then we'll try it. I could make the platform out of wood, but then it's m much more prone to damage. So I think we're just going to go with stone and see how this works. Uh, okay, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to grab ourselves some foundations here. And um, I'm going to start in the back here and cut try and make this foundation more or less flush with the back it's um it's a little tricky because the you know the platform's moving so it looks like just based upon this looks like i need to nudge it to the right just to nat's eyebrow here maybe like that that's pretty close doesn't have to be absolutely perfect but i'd like it to be Close enough. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to snap it there. Okay, we'll put that one in, that one in, and that one in. Uh, you know what, though? Can I still... Oh, I guess I can still access the saddle there. Okay. I, I, I like w what they did with these two because they when you put it on a platform saddle they they're flat they're not like the, the thick chunky foundation so that just looks uh looks really good nice little improvement um all right so what i want to do just wondering if i should hold those back a little more well let's just keep working with it for a minute and see how it comes together because what i want to do up front is i want to take these quarter pieces and put one uh actually yeah put them like that and then take and put a hatch piece in the middle and have it go that direction. And then all we have to do is just flip that up to get on the saddle. Now, it is gonna, can we close those once we're in there? Um, let me try something here. Can I just... No, I can't. Uh, you know what? I don't know if this is worth it, actually. Because the problem is, if we have to go into first person, that's blocking our view, right? Then that that sucks. Okay, yeah, let's not do that. Let's pick this back up. Um. So instead, what I think I'll do is... Uh, we won't be able to put... Oops, wrong, wrong button. Um, I'm, I'm making this up as I go, so <laughs> so bear with me. Okay, can we fall through here? Uh, we certainly can. Okay, well we don't want to, we don't want to do that then. Um, I 
I'm not else. I'm not sure what else. How else we would go about this? If if I could get the hatch to open downward, that would that would work. But I don't know if I can because you know it's detecting that it's attached to that platform. Let's mess with it a little bit more and see if there's some way we can maybe do that. So. If we, what if we flip, flip it this way? Now will it open downward? No, nope, it still opens upward. Hmm. All right, pick that back up. Does it matter if we have it going the other direction? So like this direction. Nope, that's even worse. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if we can do this then. Let's um let's flip it back this way. Can we open open mode always out? No. Yeah, I don't think this is going to work. Okay, well, it was worth a try. If you guys know a trick for that, let me know for sure uh, in the comments, but uh, I don't think that's going to work. So I guess what we have to do then is... If we put these here... Um, I just don't know what we could put here to prevent me from accidentally following you know following through follow falling jeez man what's the matter with my brain today oh i'm too heavy wolfie get the hell out of the way there's something wait 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 what you're not yeah that was weird uh there's something wrong with wolfie she won't uh she won't wander uh, she's on Wander, but she won't. Uh, I don't know. It's, she's kind of bugged, I suppose. All right, well. I'm just trying to think of what other potential options there could be for us not to go fa falling through there. Um... We can't... We can't use uh you, we can't use a hatch portal because it's too far forward. I can't you know I have to be able to come this way. All right, well I'll have to give that some thought for later, but let's uh let's continue because uh, I'm spending too much time on this. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and expand. Uh, whoops! No 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 no. That's not what we're going to do. Pick that back up. Let's put these back to... Uh, stone ceiling. There we go. So we're going to expand out this far. Um, I don't want to overdo it because here again, you know, with the weight... Okay. Now... Let me let me hop off here for a second. It almost might make sense to put the ramps on the front just because when the Quetz is at rest, it kind of dips down and it's in other words, it's lower in the front than it is in the back. Um So let's let's grab these ramps here. And I think I want them to see this, these aren't actually ramps, they're roof pieces because they have a steeper angle. It'll just it'll just make it a lot easier for loading critters. I think. All 
right, let me check the weight here. Okay, it's um, starting to get a little heavy. All right, well let's let's go with this and just see see how it comes together here. Uh, so now what we want to do is we want to put in railings, and again we're going all stone because that way it's much less likely to get damaged. Uh, quit moving. There we go. Okay, so... <coughs> um, I'm just trying to think here. If we built one more rail... And put it in front there. Here, let me pull one of these back up for a second, because I short one naturally. Right? Yeah. Oh. Hmm. That goes down. Does that possibly do anything to prevent me from falling through? It... Uh, well, let's put it this way. I'd have to work really hard to fall through that hole. So that, I think that's our solution. All right, nice. That worked out pretty good. Maybe we'll put another... Uh, maybe we put another rail in front here too, just, I don't know, for the hell of it. Or we could... Uh, I wonder if we could put a bed there. Yeah, because that way then, you know, the bed's out of the way. I'm not really planning on doing anything else. This is just a transport platform. So, yeah, well, let's, let's, uh, let me go make a couple more of these, these quarter rails. Uh, I don't think we need any more of that stuff. And we need a rail for back here. And then, uh, we'll see if I can put a bed there, too. I have made some uh, progress on the eastern sea base too. Uh, we'll maybe we'll fast travel out there. And I'll just give you an update on where we are. I'm still it's still definitely a work in progress. Uh, okay, so if we were going to do a bed, then let's um let's put you there, and will it let me? Uh, how about there? Eh, it's close enough. It is close enough. Um, can we get a second one down? If we disable snapping. Just so we, you know, we could spawn here twice if we have to without waiting for the cooldown. All right. So we're going to call this uh, Quetz 1. And then if we just look at the edge of that, Quetz 2. Good. So now we have two, two spawn points up on the platform if we need to. You know, so for example, if we bail off the side for some reason and leave the Quetz 400 feet in the air, we can spawn back up to it. Those kinds of things, because those kinds of things happen in this game. Um, all right, put that back in place. Okay, I had to tab out for a second and answer a question on Discord. Excuse me. Um, so we have our beds. That's good. And it looks like we, we can't, at least not easily, fall through this toll. So that's also very good. I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, all right, now the next question here is how many critters can this Quetz carry at a time? <laughs> Looks terrible. Oh my goodness. Um, we want to take the, the beaver and the doty because I'm going to need them to gather some stuff. I'm going to just gather the stuff there. 
So let's get you up here. Uh, oh, that's right. I guess I had you on follow to the beaver, didn't I? Okay. So we'll line you up there. They're getting getting caught up in the quetz, the tip of the quetz's wings there. There's a little little jank. Okay, we'll put the beaver there in the dodic next to the beaver. I guess that's kind of a downside to these foundations being flat, because you get the quetz wing tips popping up in between. Excellent. All right, now let me go grab the rest of the berries that we need to take out there. We'll get them loaded up and then we'll head on out and see how things go. Why am I taking the long way around? I don't know, I can't take me anywhere. All right, guys, we are ready to take off and see how, how this goes. <laughs> so all the berries that I have on here are the ones that still need to be leveled. Uh, everybody that's up there is already fully leveled. Uh, and when I say fully leveled, I mean I've got their health too. At least 8,000 in their melee to at least 800. Um, so we have nine of them ready to go. Two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, nine of them ready to go. And then we just got to get the rest of these. Uh, we have a, we'll have a total of 14. I was going to maybe take 12 into the cave to start, but maybe we'll take 14 and we'll see if we can make that work without it being uh, too much of a cluster. Uh, I was afraid of that. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, this quest just doesn't have a whole lot of uh, a lot of weight. It's, it's a really low level quest. Okay. Well, let's take half of these, half of them off, and we might just need to make two trips. Or what we could do, we could just have the other ones follow on foot. And that, that might be more hassle than it's worth, to be honest with you. Okay. Let's just take a few of them off and see. Uh, nope, I don't want to go out that way. If that'll get the trick done. I don't know if uh, load balancing matters on these platform saddles or not. Uh, let's take a drink. I've, I've got a... I actually have a little shack already at the swamp cave with a bunch of extra gas masks. Uh, well, actually with all of my extra gas masks, so... We'll pull one more berry off because we also, you know, we have to, have to take the, the beaver and the dodic too. And then, like I said, we'll just have to... Uh, There we go. Uh, I'll have to come back and get the other ones. Let's see if that's enough. Nope. <laughs> Shit. Okay. Well, ugh. we might just have to take these guys overland. Let's take all the berries off and see if we can at least get it to work with the dodic and the beaver. Um, the other thing too is, I mean, I, I'm very heavy myself. I've, I've got all that flak armor on and everything. Um, but, you know, that's my normal kit. So if I can't take my normal kit when we go somewhere on this bird, it's pretty much damn useless. We just need to get a bigger one. That's all there is to it. And, you know, it's not something I actively look for, but when I do see Quetzes, let's see if we can do it with one berry. Okay, so that reduced the weight quite a bit. All right. Well, this should work. Okay, let's get up in the sky, up, up into the foliage. I do not believe Therizinos can jump vertically. You have to be below them 
or at least level with them before they can nab you. I've never seen that happen anyways, put it that way. And I've had my fair share of getting pounced on. Not so much on this map, but in the past. Oh, um, I forgot. I have a couple of uh, really nice pieces of loot to show you from the Swamp Cave. And um, I, I went ahead and mind wiped again because I didn't feel like I gave myself enough health. Uh, and so because I did that, I went ahead and temporarily bumped up the crafting skill and made a couple of the helmets. And here's what they turned out to be. Yeah, so not bad. Not bad at all. All right, we're going to set up our camp here. Hmm. Yeah, I, I think I think we'll set it up on this island. And we're just going to take all the trees and stuff down and make like a little circular fort. 5,000 wood, nice. Okay. Um, you know what I think I'm going to do? I think I'm just going to surround the island with dino gates it'll look nice and it'll be a little faster uh at least to, to actually build it it's um might take me a little bit longer to make that many gates but i'm not planning on doing anything real super fancy here this is mostly just going to be a pin to keep the berries in with the trough and Storage and a couple beds, that kind of thing. Um, we could, you know, at some point in the future, maybe if we feel it's warranted, you know, come back and maybe do something a little fancier. But um, in terms of fancy builds, that's right now my focus is on our eastern sea base and I still have to finish our third tree platform too so we got a couple other things in the works before we do anything too terribly fancy here um, the other thing too I was gonna say is what you know what makes this location so great is that there's fish in the pond so the berries can easily you know heal back up after and I've already been doing this anyways heal back up after coming out of the cave and and grab some fish to take in to the cave with them to heal so it really just works out very good all right so the next step here is to um, just start surrounding this island with dino gates uh, let's bring the quets over here too just so it's close to our the rest of our team ah oh, shade what I should have done dead gum it I should have brought uh, some focal chili so we can make these quicker. Tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut the camera here. I'm going to go back, grab the other berries, come back with some focal chili and um, a few other supplies and then put the gates up and then I'll bring you guys back once I have all of the gates in place. So see you in a bit. So um, I found out I can get a fourth dino on the platform if uh, I just have the quets follow me and the other advantage to that is that I don't have to worry about stamina uh, on the quetzal so this is a much better way to do it and there's still some levels that queen has too that we haven't put in so her stamina is not terrible and especially if we do it this way I should I think I'll move to putting everything that she has left into weight because yeah this works this actually works out pretty good all right, guys, um, something just occurred to me, and I'm glad it occurred to me now. If I set these gates up here, that might screw up the, the fish spawn, and we need these fish to spawn because, they're, oh, there's an otter. Let's grab it. Uh, we need these fish to spawn because that's part of our um, our plan here, you know, for, for healing the the berries so we might have to go to plan B because yeah I, I don't want these I don't want to script the fish spawn here um, 
Oops, you're probably big enough. Nice. We need an otter, actually. I've we lost our first one actually in this damn swamp cave when I died. So we will take it. Just gotta get over to it so we can feed it. Now I can't see what the hell I'm doing. Because the water's too shallow here. Come on. There we go. Alright. Uh, it's a male, so we'll name it Otto, and we finally have a an otter again. Yeah, yes. Okay. Enough screwing around. Let's get back to work. Hey. Oh, I thought that was a micro raptor. The Archies look look just like micro raptors. I mean, they don't look just like them, but they it's really hard to tell the difference between them, especially at a glance. So yeah. Anyway, let's, uh, how you doing, Otto? <laughs> we'll try not to get you killed this time. All right, well, not this time. Never, never mind. I didn't mean anything by that. It means nothing. Just forget I said that. Okay. Anyway, um, yeah, so we might need to go build over by the cave, uh, which is over that way, because I'm pretty sure... I mean, even if the gates themselves don't ruin the spawn, I need to put a few foundations down, and that those will. So, yeah. That's the deal. All right, well, then... Apparently, everybody's following Queenie. So, let's just go over here. There's a nice little flat spot right up. Uh, you know, uh, there's a little, like, trail that leads up to the cave. It'll be far enough away from the water that we won't have to worry about it. And we won't need a million bazillion gates either. So there's that, too. Okay, so... Yeah, let's just, um... I think probably just right about here where things flatten out is where we want to be. So I'm going to get a little more fiber first. All right. I think we're ready to start placing gates here. Let's get these guys down here. So the front door or back door, as the case may be, will basically point... That way, and then looks like these are not in snap mode. There we go. And then I think what we'll do is we'll go if we just angle these. Yeah, we might need to go. Let's go like two and then go on the next angle and then oh. Actually, yeah, that's going to make this way bigger than it needs to be. Let's just see what it looks like if we angle each one. There we go. Nice. All right, now, let's go ahead and... Sure, we could fit Queen inside of there, but she's gonna take up all the space. Not saying she has a fat ass, I'm just saying. Okay, so we're gonna run up here because I have a little shack up here. We'll take that down and just move it all down into the base. Yeah, I just got all my gas mass in there and a couple of beds. In fact, if we just pick up the foundation itself, we should grab everything. Oh, man, that is so nice. I like that about Arc Ascended. 
Um, can we just step up on it? Yeah. I was going to actually lower it down a little bit. That's okay. Put those there. Um, because we're inside of a thingy now, we can just make, make this a door. Okay, storage bin. A couple of beds. We'll call this... Swamp Cave 1. And this will be Swamp Cave 2. Excellent. And um, that's all we really need. We'll put three of those in there. All oh, right, we got to put the ceiling back on. There. Okay, so let's go get some fish. Get out of here. So usually what I do when I come and do this is I I eat about half the fish in the pond and leave to you know to take some fish in with me and then leave the other half for healing up when I come back out. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to get naked except for we're going to take 3 of these. Never needed 3, but better to be safe than sorry. Uh, we won't take this in with us, and we won't take any of our armor in with us, because that's the key to, to doing this successfully. Uh, we will take antidote, because there is a chance of disease leeches. We definitely want stimulant. Uh, we will take the shotgun in with us, so we have some kind of weapon. And I meant to actually fill those canteens back up. Okay, we're missing one really important thing that I have to go get out of the fridge. I'll be right back. All right. So this is the real key to uh, making sure that you run the swamp cave successfully. So you got to have a beer, and you also have to have a big honking bottle opener to open the beer because that's very important. Let's open the beer with the big honking bottle opener. Mmm, <sighs> good stuff. Okay, now we're ready to run the swamp cave. We gotta, gotta make sure we're fully prepared. Let's head on up there. Okay, we'll pop our mask on. No, on us. And you have another point, so you already got your 8,000 health. So now we're just working on getting the melee up. But I mean, I can run this entire cave without, in most cases, without even needing to heal these guys at all, but it just kind of depends. Sometimes they get a little more banged up than, than others. So this is our first choke point here. Okay, we got four points. Nice. That gets you up to 613. Okay. Let's move into this room. Next room. Okay, we got another point or 11. Jeez. Look at that, man. Awesome. Okay, let's go this way because a lot of times we can get a double spawn of the blue crate that's in this other room. So we'll clear these mobs out first, and then if we get back quick enough, they should stay cleared so we don't have to do it twice. Of course, having to do it twice is not a bad thing, just because of part of why we're here is a level. 
Let's kill that spider just in case it frees itself and becomes a problem later. Okay, and then we got... Uh, looks like a snake popped out of the wall or something. Okay, and then we have one more big group to clear out in this room. Health is pretty good. Oh, look what's on the ceiling. I wonder why that thing's not jumping on my head. I'm not complaining about that. It's just... Don't they ambush you? Or maybe they only do that if you're on foot. I don't know. Just happened to look up and notice those teeth. You know, um, I've got a couple of pretty nice Megalania saddles and or blueprints. They uh, they can be pretty good cape creatures too, just because they can climb walls like the Thylo can. I wonder if they have a smaller hitbox than the Thylo. Okay, we're up to 751 melee. All right, we're gonna have a few more to kill in here before we can ch safely check the blue crate. It's biting the water just in case there's any leeches, so when I get off. basically get the, the whole room clear. Alright, I think we're good. Alright. I don't usually find anything super good in this crate, but that's decent stuff. We'll come back and check it one more time. Alright, now, this Megalania. Um... Uh oh, did I accidentally put that in the wrong thing? Oh well, whatever. I want to see what... Oh, there it is right there. They're so hard to see. What level are you? Ooh, a 145. Damn. Um... Okay. How would we, how would we even do that? I mean, you know, considering that it's in a cave and all that, and we have repops. I guess if we came in here with spiked fences. All right, let me take a quick look on uh, Dota decks here. Okay, so we can knock this thing out in four shots with our rifle and shocking darts, and it'll take us about. Let me look again. Uh, it'll take us 16 minutes with four extraordinary kibble, which I've obviously I don't have on me, but I've got a million back at the base. The question is, uh, do they have a high torpor? They do, but I think I have some narcotic on me. This shit. The thing is, those. Hmm. If I, run, if I run back out, grab the spike fences, which are on Seahawk, come back in, knock it out, throw a shit ton of narcotic on it, and then just, you know, barricade it in with the fences. See, it's not the, not the, it's the getting it out of here without it getting damaged part that makes this really hard. Hmm. Okay. I think what we should do is let's just exit the cave. We you know we can worry about the loot later. Well, actually, you know what? No, let's get the loot. There's a crate right around the corner anyway. Oh uh, no, that's actually the artifact. That Megalania's not going anywhere. So let's let's finish getting the loot. We'll exit the cave. We'll run back and get some extraordinary kibble. And then bring in our spikes and see if we can actually make this happen because that is almost a max level megalania you guys we just can't pass that up okay let's kill all the leeches i just come through the pools kill the leeches a because we can use the leech blade even though i have probably like ten thousand of them now but b i don't want them cr climbing on me or the the berry you know they don't seem to be as 
aggressive in here as they are in the actual swamp swamp though. There's an egg of some sort. Hey, there's one of the spawn points for the yellow crate. Oh, it's a titan bow egg. Okay. We don't really need it, but those are kind of rare. Okay, before we go back there, we got a big group right here that normally spawns. Oh. We must have pulled a lot of them out already, I guess. There's usually just a big pile of enemies right in this opening here. I think we got some leeches that are trying to get to us. Let's kill them. I'm a little distracted because of that Megalania. <laughs> Normally I just come in here and blow through it really quick. You know, get through the whole damn thing in like 10 minutes. But. Okay, let's go grab this. I think those bugs are stuck in the wall. Oh, look at that. Nice. Really nice. Um, that might even be a little bit better than what we currently have. Okay. Yeah, the loot in here is just amazing. Let's go get the final crates. Uh, and then we will... We'll grab the artifact, too, even though I already have, like... Well, I haven't... The same number of artifacts as I've run this cave of the immune, which is a lot. I have to keep an eye on that torpidity. Okay, that's pretty damn nice. Oh man, too bad that wasn't a blueprint. <laughs> but still, <laughs> this loot is so good, you guys. Uh, yeah, okay, cool. Man, if that would have been a blueprint, we would have been set for Rex boss fights, but... I mean, the plan, I've said this already multiple times, and I'm, I apologize if I sound like a broken record to some of you, but we're not plan I'm not planning on using Rex Army at all unless it becomes apparent that the Therizino Army is not going to be effective across the board. I think it will be, but yeah, we'll just have to see. I, normally, uh, I, if this was any other cave, I'd wait for another one to pop and put one in the otter, but... Seriously, I've got so many of those already, it just doesn't matter. Probably more than we'll ever use. I'm not even sure which boss uses those. The one I'm planning on farming on a semi-regular basis is Megapithecus, and I don't think Megapithecus uses uh, Artifact of the Immune. Of the immune. Oh, nice. Okay, we're going to need that for the Ice Cave to pull the Perlovias out of the ground. So that was a nice little find. Snails and leeches kind of sound the same. Yeah, I mean, average stuff. Not all that great compared to everything else. Okay, let's just sprint by this Megalania. And I hope it's still there. You know, I, I don't know if the creatures will reset when we leave the cave, but I mean, we can't tame it as we are now. We have nothing with us for that purpose. usually have a, a little group there that always blocks me when I'm trying to get back out of here. Can't see. Oh wow, look at the colors on that pteranodon. Level 5, of course it is! Why should I expect it to be a high level? <laughs> That's cruel. Oh, man, it's a good thing this is a video game. I wouldn't do that shit in real life, just in case you guys are wondering. Yeah, hey, yeah, you get the hell out of here, man. I would do that shit in real life if I had a... If terror birds were real. And, uh, yeah. I'm just going to throw everything in here because I'm going to... You know, in the interest of time, I'm going to teleport back and I'll worry about getting this stuff back later. We spawned in the barn. How, how much time I have my gig eggs? Yeah, they still have almost two hours left. Okay, we are back. 
Um, what's in there? Oh, I forgot to take our parachute out. Okay. Now, this time we're going in uh, with our armor, but we won't wear our armor until we've cleared all the Arthos. We'll take an extra gas mask just because we have to be in there a little bit longer. All right. The question is, is it still there? I just want to get everything cleared out of here. Even stuff that's in the wall because it could pop out of the wall. It's still there. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. Hmm. I wonder if it's stuck and maybe that's why it didn't jump on our head. Um, okay. Should we... Let's run past it and clear this room again, too. Okay, I think we're pretty clear in this room. So, ideally... It would be best if we actually take it down in this tunnel, because then it'll just be easier for us to lock up with our spikes. All right, let's put our, our armor on. Okay, here goes nothing. We should be able to knock this out in four hits. Uh Oh There's there was two megalanias up there. Shit. I was going what the hell's going on? Look, it's only doing four damage per hit. These saddles are badass. Okay. Let's see if we can get past it and get it back into the tunnel here. Should have knocked it out. Oh, it's torpor running? Okay, well, it took a few more than four hits, but it wasn't there. Yeah, there's another one up there that I've knocked out. I thought, I didn't realize there were two. That's only a level 15, though. Is this a female? It is. So. Considering these things are kind of a pain in the ass to get, we could tame both of them and then just breed this one with this one and get all the good stats onto it. I think that's what we'll do. I think that's what we'll do. Okay, so um, let's bring you into here. All right, I don't think anything's going to be coming through that way. And likewise, that should, well, here, let's do that just for good measure. Yeah. All right. I think we're nice and cozy caved, caged in here. So you should take only four according to Dota decks. Let's put a little bit of this on you. And Dota Deck says I'm going to need to feed 20 of these. So let's do about 10 or so. And we'll see what it does. Okay, now the question is how do I get to that one? Uh, I think as long as we don't hit it with this... There we go. Uh, I don't know. You're probably only going to need about two of these, I'm guessing. And um, I'll give you a, just a couple of these. Just for good measure. Okay. I'm glad I brought extra. 
Oh man, okay. This one obviously is the priority, but yeah, if we can get both of these, that would be fan freaking tastic. All right, guys, I'll bring you back uh, when these when these guys stand up. Well, guy and gal. Oh, see, that one's gonna have bad taming effect in too, because I hit it after the fact. I was confused, but you know, it doesn't matter because this is the only purpose of grabbing that one is to try and breed the good stats of this one onto a male, and then we're golden. Yeah, see, that one's almost tamed with just one kibble. Um, I do have some prime meat. Why don't we just save a kibble? Not that I have any shortage of extraordinary kibble, but we'll save a kibble and finish this one off with some prime, since we don't really give a shit about taming the effectiveness on it anyway. See, the other thing that's good about this too is that we can uh, we can harvest the babies from these guys for megalania toxin, which we need for one of the, I think for the dragon fight actually, or one of the bosses. Uh, so not only can these turn into fantastic caving creatures for us, but they also will provide the toxin too. So it's good stuff. This was a really good find. All right, we got the mail. We're just gonna call it mail. And uh, I hope we can get it to come down from there. All right, can we get you off of here? There we go. No, nope, don't go the spikes. Okay. <laughs> awesome. Uh, what? Okay, what's your health? 900. Ooh. Okay, yeah, we're gonna have to. There's a possibility we might not make it out of here with this one. I mean, if I would have known, I would have brought two saddles, but obviously. But I am not risking losing this one, so if this one dies, it dies. We could even, like, have them do the naughty as soon as she wakes up and grab the egg before we try and get out of here, just in case. Um. Yeah, you know what? That maybe is not a bad idea. Just in case we lose this one. Of course, if the egg comes out as a female, that doesn't help a whole lot, but... It's a 50-50 chance, right? All right, we got it. Mega Mama. Okay, so, um... Let's go ahead and do what I had mentioned. Let's get these guys to pop an egg out, like, right now. So that way, if we don't make it back out of here... Uh, or, I'm sorry, if the male doesn't make it back out of here... We have uh, an egg. Uh, <clears throat> get out of the way! Okay. Stop looking. It was cute the first time, and then five years later, it's just nothing but frustrating. I noticed some snails starting to spawn in. Okay. Enable mating. No, not that. Enable mating. Uh, oh, she's following me. There we go. Okay. How long is this going to take? Ah, not long at all. Okay, so as soon as she pops her egg out, we'll pick up the spikes and head on out of here. I don't see the crate, but you know what? I don't care about loot crates right now anyway, so we can come back for those any day. we got to get these guys out of here. So stay right behind me, nice and slow. Feel the path, sense the path, see the path, smell the path, hear the path, I don't care. Just stay on the path. Blocking each other? I think they're blocking each other. Seriously? Now they're falling through the world. If I lose these 
megas. Um, I'm spawning one in. That's bullshit. So it's the male that doesn't die and the female the one that dies. Of course. Okay, here. I'm spawning one in, you guys. I am fucking spawning one in if I can't get her back. Yeah, she's... <laughs> she's stuck at the bottom of the world. Come on, guy. Just follow me. Oh, this is frustrating. There's no... I, and I don't have a saddle to... <sighs> Things were going so well, too. Okay, we'll keep a gas mask with this. What I'm about to do could kill me, so that's why I'm offloading everything. I've got... Oh, shit. No, there's no way I'm going to get... Uh... They're, they're gone. I mean, they are flat out gone. I'm caught in the twilight zone here. Why can't I... I I'm still ghosted. Why... Whoa, what was that? Why can't I get back above the surface? Can we... Can we tell her to follow us? Now, can she pop out of the ground? We might be able to do this. Okay. Now, get on her. You've got to be kidding me. Really? <laughs> oh, you... What? No way. Wild card. Why allow us to tame something inside of a cave and not allow us to bring it out? What is the rationale behind that? I really want to know. Is it possible that we could get on the wall it's just it's, there's like no room to fucking move in here I'm really salty right now you guys okay so here's the plan they stay in here this is where they live I can't get them out w without cheating as justified as I feel like I would be I'm not going to do it obviously I'm salty right now but I just can't help but think there's some asshole at Wildcard that said, hey, you know what? It'd be really funny to uh, make these caves so narrow that you can't get anything hardly through it that you want to get through it. And let's let him tame something in the cave and then not let him bring it back out. That's just the funniest joke ever. Ha ha ha. Fuckers. They fell through the world again. Okay. Screw this. If I can retrieve them, I'm ghosting them out. End of discussion. They're almost nine kilometers away. No way. I can't. What? No, huh? -uh. I'm not going down there. I'm going to log and see if that does anything at all. Okay, so they're both... Sort of here. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay. Huzzah! We did it. That was a that was a frustrating experience, you guys. It really was. <laughs> that wasn't obvious to you. But we we got him out. It's, it's unfortunate that due to stupid ass game mechanics, but even more than that, the bugs in this game that we had to resort to cheats to get him out, but that's what we had to do. Uh, all in all, things turned out okay. <laughs> so I apologize for being, you know, uh, upset, but shit happens, right? And I, I can't help it. I just get really mad when that kind of crap happens. Um, and it is what it is. So uh, it's time to end this episode. So thank you, everybody, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share out the video. And we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.